So Americans speak English. Americans speak English, but Americans are not ethnically English. Americans speak English, but are you ethnically English? Do you speak up and defend the cultures of the English? What? The English? What is going on in London? The Queen? Oh no, not the Queen Great Britain. What about Wessex? Huh, you big on Wessex and the Northumbrians? How big of a English nationalist are you? You English speaking dickhead? How big of an English nationalist are you? You're not even an English nationalist whatsoever? You just happen to speak English? Huh, that's interesting. So if England came over here and said, hey, we're defending the English speakers from the uh, whatever, that would be the same justification that uh, Mr. Fucking Mass Murdering, Killing, Dirty Rotten, Son of a Bitch, the Ivan the Terrible, Vlad the Mad. What's he killed? 40 fucking thousand? 50 fucking thousand? Anybody know? Anybody give a shit? Ah! Here's a Viking timeline. Bjorn. It's not Bjorn. It's Bjorn. Bjorn Ironside. He was living the same time as Rurik and Oleg and Atwood and Durr and all these, you know, Olga and Igor motherfuckers. The whole gang. The whole gang was there. Bjorn Ironside was right there. And then Leif Erikson is going to find America in a thousand. So we're talking about 800, 900, 1,000. This is right. So a Viking timeline. 3.2 million years ago, Lucy the Ape is dated as heaven existed 3.2 million years ago. That's our ancestors. We homo sapiens have been on this earth, on this planet in Africa for over 3 million years now. A collection of several hundred pieces of fossilized stone representing 40% of a female, the hominin species, Astrolopithecus. Afarensis, Astra, or Australopithecus Afarensis, and they found it in Ethiopia. All of mankind came out of Ethiopia. All of mankind came out of Africa. 50,000 years ago is when Homo sapiens broke out of Africa and then populated the world. Some went to the east, some went to the north, some went to the west. 50,000 years ago, humans broke out of Africa and went to the Middle East. Some went to Europe, some went to the steppes, some went to Australia. And then some, you know, crossed the fucking Pacific and went to the Americas. 14,000 years ago is when Homo sapien got to the Americas. 14,000 years ago. The Europeans, they just got here, what, 500, 550 years or some shit? 520 years? You just got here, white man, 520 years ago. You've only been here for 500 years. The red man's been here for 14,000 years. And the black man since the beginning of time. And you are the black man. Okay, white man. 513 BC 2. 2,535 years ago. You had the Persian king Darius. He's going to invade Europe's Scythia in 513 P BC. What does that mean? Scythia is the Ukraine. So, you know, when Candace want to say, you know, sits there and act like the Ukraine just existed yesterday. Just, well, just yesterday. It was called Scythia in 513 BC. The Persians. And actually, Scythians were Iranians. The Persians are Iranians. So this is Iranian on Iranian violence. And they're both saying that they're trying to take the Ukraine. The Ukraine is ours. The Ukraine is mine. The Ukraine is big. It's a big land landmass. It's got all those minerals and resources. And it's got all those people. And it's also a very important corridor, you know, between the East and the West. It's like, well, it's like the biggest corridor ever. It's like the goddamn corridor of corridors. 500 BC, 2,522 years ago, Confucius, a.k.a. Master Kong, not King Dong, but Master Kong, 500 BC, was born. So the Persian king Darius had tried to take Scythia, the Ukraine, 13 years before Confucius was born. And then Jesus, Lothbrok, Christ, is born on year zero. I'm pretty sure Lothbrok is Jesus' middle name. 500 AD, you have King Ki. This is the first Ukrainian hero, King Ki. 
He's going to find Kiev. He's going to find Kivets and he's going to find Kiev. He's going to have uh, two brothers and a sister. His sister Libid and his brothers Shechek and uh, Cor Corvair. Corvair, Corvette. I'm not for sure what the other... But he comes with two brothers and a sister. They find Kiev. They find Kiev in the 500s. So hundreds of years before Rurik and those goddamn Swedish fucking Viking motherfuckers. Rurik and Oleg and Olga. So you, they're going to say that Oleg founded the Kievian Rus in 882 AD. So King Oleg, the Spanish Viking, the Swedish, excuse me, the Swedish Viking Oleg goes to Kiev in 882. And that's when the Kievian Rus begins. When Oleg, for some reason, it's when fucking, I guess when he takes Kiev, that's when it becomes the Kievian Rus. They expand the do the domain from Novgorod, Ladoga, all the way to Kiev. And so now it's a state. Or they say it's a state. I, why would they? Okay, anyways. Anyways. <clears throat> Kiev founded Kiev hundreds of years before Oleg killed Ask Holden Durr. And he stole Kiev in eight, uh, 82 AD. Ukraine was founded in the 500s. Key lived in the 500s. He founded Kiev. He founded Kievets on the Danube River in the 500s, maybe 600s. But this is 882. So hundreds of years prior to Rurik and Oleg and all them Swedes, them Viking Swedes, before they came and pretended that they were the Slavs. No, we're one of you. Why are you saying this? So we can rule over you. <laughs> what? You son of a bitch! Now, that's, you know, exactly what the fuck happened. The Vikings... The Swedish Vikings came after Key had founded Kiev hundreds of years. So Key founded Kiev hundreds of years before the Swedish Vikings, you know, supposedly. And he killed the guy. So we know that he killed the people that was there. So he didn't find it. He didn't establish it. He just stole it from somebody else. We know that. He killed Askhold and Durr. What we don't know is Askhold and Durr could be Swedish Vikings or they could be the Slavs. Who is Askhold and Durr? It could be Al Durr. It was like, you know, it could be, um, I guess, a Turk. But Oleg is going to kill Askhold and Durr and steal Kiev. He stole Kiev in 882. The beginning of the Kievan Rus is, you know, the they won or they took it by bloodshed. Kiev founded Kiev hundreds of years before Rurik and Igor and Olga and Oleg did. And he was the uh, Polans. He's an Eastern Slavic tribe called the Polans, which uh, is the, you know, I want to say it's probably the Poles, right? The Polacks. And no, you know, in a, um, no, no disrespect, Pollock, in terms of Pollyanny. Okay. 750 AD, 41 Swedes killed, left behind around the island of Osul, outside Estonia. 41 Swedes killed. And left behind around the island of Osul, around Estonia, 750 AD. What the hell is that about? 830s AD, Swede reached Mike La Ga Roar, Constantinople, 830s, in service of the emperor, some of his personal guards. In 844, when Louis the German defeated Rex, Gasto Mu Isli of the Obodrites. 844 AD, 855 AD, Bjorn Ironside raids the Seine River in West France all the way to Paris. 859 AD, Bjorn Ironside joins Hastings on a Mediterranean raid. 860 AD, the Rus attack on Constantinople in June 860 took the June 860 took the Greeks by surprise like a thunderbolt from heaven, as was put by Patriarch Photius in his famous oration written for the occasion. This is Rurik and his brothers, Cineus and Truver Var uh, Varyaz, Varyazes. So the Varyazes, 
the Varangians, the Norse, the Vagyars, the Swedish Vikings, the Gotlanders, the Northern Swedes, the Norwegians, the Rus, the Danes. Sinius and Truver might not actually be his brothers. Could just be a misinterpretation. The Vagyars, or the Var, the Varyags. The Varyags, the Vagyars. The Varangians. What's a Varangian? 862, Rurik is going to establish Ladoga and Novgorod peacefully. He built the Ladoga Fortress. And there's a misinterpretation about his two brothers, Cineus and Truver. Could it just be, it could it just be with the house and his faithful squad. So his house took one hill and his faithful squad took another hill. Truvering, Cineus. 862. Let's take a break. Coming back. 862.